AWS just announced a huge new feature for EventBridge that is going to change the way you trigger serverless events. This is an announcement I've been asking for for years, and I'm excited that it's finally here. Learn about that and more in this video. In a recent blog post, AWS announced a new feature called EventBridge Scheduler. This new tool allows you to schedule events that will fire at a specific time. Previously, you had to use methods like step function wait tasks or event bridge rules to get similar functionality. But that adds additional complexity for a seemingly trivial task, just wake up and fire an event at a specific time. These new events are called one-time schedules, since they are only invoked once and can be thrown out afterwards. You can hook up these events to trigger things like a Lambda function, an SNS topic, or an SQS queue. There's a whole bunch of other AWS services you can integrate with as well, but these are definitely the most common ones. To understand why this feature is useful, let's imagine that you have an e-commerce application and a customer places an order. 30 days later, you'd like your application to send them an email with a discount code. Using EventBridge Scheduler, you can register a task that is scheduled to be fired 30 days after the date of the order. When the timer does fire, you can trigger a Lambda function that will send the customer an email. This is a really clean and easy way to delay the invocation of a process until a specific time. EventBridge Scheduler also supports two other types of events, rate-based and cron-based. Rate-based allow you to set a specific rate, such as one minute, one hour, or one day to trigger an event on a recurrence. Cron allows you to be a bit more specific and define a cron pattern that triggers your event. Now, some of you may be thinking, this sounds a bit familiar. Rate-based and cron-based events have existed for years as EventBridge rules. Good observation. The distinction is that with EventBridge Scheduler, you can specify a start and an end time for these types of events. For example, we can create a schedule that fires every five minutes, but only between January 1st and the 31st. This makes them more flexible when you require a precise start time and end time. In terms of pricing, you get 14 million events for free per month and are charged just $1 for every million invocations after that. One-time scheduled events are a huge game changer, and I'm so excited to get started using this new feature. To start now, check out this video on EventBridge Scheduler right here.